Maasim, Acts 25. Now, when Festus was come into the province after three days, he ascended from Kekaria to Yerushalayim. Then the high priest and the chief of the Yaudim informed him against Paal and besought him, and desired favor against him that he should send for him to Yerushalayim, laying wait in the way to kill him. But Festus answered that Paal should be guarded at Kekaria, and that he himself should depart shortly thither. Let them therefore, said he, which among you are able, go down with them and accuse this man, if there be any wickedness in him. And when he had tarried among them more than ten days, he went down unto Kekaria, and the next day, sitting on the judgment seat, commanded Paal to be brought. And when he was come, the Yahudim which came down from Yerushalayim stood round about and laid many and grievous, rather grievous complaints against Paal, which they could not prove. While he answered for himself, neither against the Torah of the Yahudim, neither against the temple, nor yet against Kekar, have I offended anything at all. But Festus, willing to do the Yahudim a pleasure, answered Paal and said, Will you go up to Yerushalayim, and there be judged of these things before me? Then said Paal, I stand at Kekar's judgment seat, where I ought to be judged. To the Yahudim have I done no wrong, as you very well know. For if I be an offender, or have committed anything worthy of death, I refuse not to die. But if there be none of these things whereof these accuse me, no man may deliver me unto them. I appeal unto Kekar. Then Festus, when he had conferred with the council, answered, Have you appealed unto Kekar? Unto Kekar shall you go. And after certain days King Agrippa and Bernice came unto Kekaria to salute Festus. And when they had been there many days, Festus declared Paul's case or cause unto the king, saying, There is a certain man left in bonds by Felix, about whom when I was at Yerushalayim, the chief priests and the elders of the Yaudim informed me, desiring to have judgment against him. To whom I answered, It is not the manner of the Romaim to deliver any man to die, before that he which is accused have the accusers face to face, and have license to answer for himself, concerning the crime laid against him. Wherefore, when they were come hither, without any delay on the morrow, I sat on the judgment seat, and commanded the man to be brought forth against whom, when the accusers stood up. They brought none accusation of such things as I supposed, but had certain questions against him of their own superstition, and of one Yahusha, which was dead, whom Paul affirmed to be alive. And because I doubted of such manner of questions, I asked him whether he would go to Yerushalayim, and there be judged of these matters. But when Paul had appealed to be kept unto the hearing of Augustus, I commanded him to be guarded, till I might send him to Kekar. Then Agrippa said unto Festus, I would also hear the man myself. Tomorrow, said he, you shall hear him. And on the morrow, when Agrippa was come, and Bernice, with great pomp, and was entered into the place of hearing, with the chief captains and principal men of the city. At Festus's commandment, Paul was brought forth. And Festus said, King Agrippa, and all men which are here present with us, ye see this man, about whom all the multitude of the Yaudim have dealt with me, both at Yerushalayim and also here, crying that he ought not to live any longer. But when I found that he had committed nothing worthy of death, 
and that he himself has appealed to Augustus, I have determined to send him, of whom I have no certain thing to write unto my Lord. Wherefore I have brought him forth before you, and specially before you, O King Agrippa, that after examination had, I might have somewhat to write. For it seems to me unreasonable to send a prisoner, and not withal to signify the crimes laid against him.